So that was words I was not expecting to Ichigo to say right at the end. Because I was going to say, like, this is the thing. is like, I was not expecting him at all after, like, everything with the whole full, like, you know, full whole, like, transformation that he had with the fusion. And it's just going, oh, you know what? Fuck it and all that. Like, I've climbed up here and I've passed over and over just to this very moment. It just goes, bun, kai. Like, I'm like, what? I think it's just because, like, one, like, I just don't want this transformation to end just yet because I'm like, no, I want to see more of the cool stuff. I want to, let me see more Grand Race arrows and stuff. I just actually, like, from, I just like how you watch, it's just like, you actually combine the Getsuga and a Grand Race arrow, and it's just like, for you, like, a piece of shit like you that draw, like, with a combination of all different things. Yeah, that would suit you. And he's just like immediately going, it's just like, really, Ichigo, like really, he's like blocking it with his hand, it's just like, I can clearly see you're like an open book, especially when I was like, activating my powers. However, at this point, he's actually now going to actually take Ichigo seriously now, when he's now about to say, alright, now it's time to start using the future powers, where he's actually immediately using like traps where he knows Ichigo was going to step where it's just like, oh, keep going, eh? just keep having these blades like stab through your feet and through your arms, and it's like, yeah, you, you, I'm sure you've been told and all that, exactly what the almighty can do, which is like, I can see the future, but you don't understand that like with the future is that it isn't just one single like road at all, like it, it doesn't like wind down a single road the problem is is that there are multiple multiple ways of going throughout the few he's saying like he's like hold it like grains of sand it's like if you could see each and every individual grain of sand would be considered the future which means there are so many possibilities as there are grains of sand it's like you know let's talk about this shit right now like each go let's talk about future and saying like, you know that that is what like wide hell truth a true and marvelous thought of hope and all that the future can be changed you will grow and mature and all that another splendid sentiment that is also filled with hope but the future can be changed it could be changed with something and all that like with despair and all that i can see every last gra which is the thing it's like like i guess that's just the thing if like if anyone knew like every single sin oh, like I've said this once before because Magi has been something where it's talked about it a little bit more in detail, especially with like how future works when it's like future and destiny and like a lot of this stuff. Like it's a very weird concept for a lot of people to kind of understand what exactly it means. So I'm just going to make it a lot more easier for some people. For those that I didn't actually watch the Magi review, like changing the future and like changing like how you can like like basically go through destiny and everything. It's like like was like destiny or was I just protected to do like just me that was me clapping right now or was I destined like in the future and all that to do just one clap like it's very interesting and like i've always had this very interest in like the concept of future like can the future be manipulated can like time be like that like i really find it interesting because it's like the fact is that is the reason I'm so interested in it right now or the reason I'm telling you guys about that now is that because of destiny is that because of some bullshit like you know the future was my future destined to me to t say this like like was my future destined to like go through many ra and I like that and it's like you know you ha have no idea at the end of the day whether like you're saying well that's just human emotions human emotions allowed you just to go like that or is that something like and that's what a very interesting thing about it where you can have many discussions about that kind of stuff and it's like i don't know it's just a very interesting topic in my opinion however like your watch was just like yeah i just see future bloody blah, blah fuck you like just from there however though like, i've got to say as excited as i am for the bankai like that you should go doing that it's just like i actually to be fair i wanted more of the full hollow transformation and i just hope that the horn just doesn't disappear or like any of that stuff and it just seems like like each go like he's obviously got a game plan like coming into this and he's like yeah I, like he's seemingly like he's still getting his emotions getting away because like like i don't see too much how the bankai is gonna help you too much with this like so i've got like unless like he like i get to get at this point can stop the time but then it's just like oh my god he's gonna have like two swords or something like because every time that we've seen Ichigo obviously like for like how we've seen what he's always had like the sleek blades and all that and it's like well what if he becomes a true it's like Shinigami does he have the like the sight this time does he have something else does he need a technique a final get like you know like he has 
a bunch of stuff that you know we think that you can do and it's like with like could he actually do something like final gets a girl again like after all this time could he really like do it and it's the question is what is it going to be is it going to be two like because he had two blades as a shikai like you know obviously like, one to like obviously is his defense and that so the question is is he going to have like kind of like uh, like his uh, like most of the time what we've seen him any time with like the tensor zangetsu like sort of format like how are we going to see like sort of the long katana again or are we going to see two katanas are we going to see a side like i really would like to see if it's like two giant broad swords like i'm really interested to see what exactly the design on it and i know like kubo's probably going to do a like, really cool design on it i just hope it isn't something like what kempa like see like this is the difference between like kempachi's kind of like design when it's like you look at ichigo's full hollow thing and then kempachi just has red fucking skin and a machete and it's just like it's really that cool but it's like when you look at like like having ichigo when he had the full hollow it's like okay there's a lot of details going into it. there's a lot of stuff and it's like with the bar guys like you have to fucking nail this especially it's like so i'm really looking forward to exactly like what it's going to be that he's going to have for this design especially like i really am looking forward to it because i always like tensors like, like i've liked pretty much every time a tensor design gets to design i always liked it from the start i thought it was a really cool design and then i liked kind of the redesign of it combining it with the full bring i heck i even like the shinigami roads of the full bring although i didn't really like like the power ranger fucking outfit from it but it's like I think Ichigo's always had normally kind of cool designs. I think everyone can kind of agree, like, one of the coolest that he's had is either the full hollow Ichigo design or the Mugetsu, because I love the fucking cloak just, like, going around him. So, other than that, like, I think, like, the chapter was, like, pretty decent, though. It's, like, you know, going through the future. Although, a good majority of it was you watch just, like, saying, like, kind of the same shit that he's always saying, like, oh, I see the future. Like, Ichigo, you're wrong. You can't stop future. Like, that despair. And it's just, like, you know what? It's just like, all right, like, let's see. Like, like, there's obviously got to be some limitation to his fucking powers. We've got to find this out. And it's time to go all up, but like, all out now by using the barn guy. And it's like, all right, let's see what this barn guy can do. Because he was going pretty in with the gets again, the Grand Ray Sarah. And it's like, well, let's see how he's going to combine his barn guy alongside with the Quincy powers and the, like, the hollow and like everything else that he's got under the fucking sun. But over that, I think I'm more excited to see next week's chapter than I am, like, with this chapter. Because I was like, the last, like, part that was, like, really what he got me and it was like especially when i like when i saw that like the well like name as well i was like oh that's the end of the chapter and then i looked oh yeah that is because i he does it every time it's like oh let's see like barn card is like oh no go away next week or the week after after that and we might not even see it until like the end of the chapter because we're probably gonna see everyone else like saying what the fuck is up with that spiritual pressure i can see it like and then we're gonna see the last page of ichigo showing off the design and it's gonna I, it's probably gonna get everyone I'm, I'm pretty sure like it's gonna get me as well but I'm not, I, I, I did enjoy the chapter. I do think it's a good chapter, but at the same time, I thought your watch was kind of prancing on a little bit. And it's just that the whole t uh, future of time, especially in like whether or not it can be changed and destiny and stuff like that, I feel like that's been handled a little bit better in Magi than like, when it was just like, it's uh, like he's pretty much saying like, I can see every single grant, like a uh, like strain of time at all. I need to go uh, like, every time and all that, I can use this trash and I can just fuck you over. I think I'm going to give it a 7 this week or 7.5, although I have got a lot of excitement for next week, though. I am really curious to see what this Barnka is going to look like, and especially, like I said, like, most of the times, apart from the Power Ranger, Ichigo's normally had a pretty sleek and pretty cool design, so I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to be happening next week. But that's all for me, so thank you much for watching, as always. If you're excited to see Ichigo's Barnka as much as I am, then you know when to hit that like, you know when to hit that subscribe. That's all for me, so I'll see you guys next time.